This is the hot take, the final segment of the podcast where I search the internet to find a hot take regarding Dragon Ball that some random person has written online on some random forum talking about something that they didn't like, but we are here to discuss it, see if we agree with it, see if we hate it, love it, want to get rid of it, want to take a break from Dragon Ball, who knows, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So the topic this week, I've searched online and I found this, this little one which I thought, I thought was a little bit interesting and definitely controversial. Um, but after reading the comments in it as well, some people tended to agree. A lot of people didn't agree, but some people agreed. So yeah, we'll, we'll see oh, anyway. I need, I need to hear some of the comments then if you're going to say that. <laughs> I didn't write down the comments. But <laughs> oh, I'm devastated. <laughs> yeah, so this is the take anyway. So this person has said, I don't like Krillin. He's always relying on others. He's weak. And he was only useful when dying to help Goku become Super Saiyan. I have the trillion of shoes at my Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the take. And some of the comments, if I remember rightly, was just kind of uh, relaying the point that he's weak and he kind of hides behind others or relies on others more um, than other characters do. Like Piccolo doesn't really rely on anyone. Trunks never relied on anyone. Um, even Tien for quite a bit, he relies on himself. He doesn't expect anyone else to help him. Whereas Krillin, I guess he does kind of, in a way, he does think of himself as weaker than Goku. He relies on Goku a lot, especially. But also Android 18 in future uh, future segments of the show, I guess. Not um, straight away, but he realizes that Android 18 is stronger than him and kind of relies on her as well a bit. What do you think about this? No, I mean, literally, I've I've just talked about how like he's literally just defeated Gohan is is one thing. Like he's mm-hmm. he's he's clever. Yeah. He, he knows how to like in in original Dragon Ball. He's 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 not. I mean, in Super and stuff like that, maybe. Um, I think it's. I think in Super, a lot of the old, the older characters have been pretty much become a lot more throwaway mm. but that's kind of pretty much expected like you've got your main one well i suppose no to be honest everyone gets the shine a lot, moment a lot of them the had their moments in yeah. the tournament of power everyone kind of did i'm trying to think krillin did get an elimination didn't he i'm trying to think he definitely got an elimination. He, he would have got one. It's it's not coming to mind on the top of my head, but he, he would have got at least one. Hold on, I've got him open on it because I was doing my research on him. Let's see, who did he get out? Yeah. Someone out. Um, because I know he got eliminated by Frost. Mm. So um, but um, I think he has become definitely weakened since the more recent. Dragon Ball, yeah. I think, literally. I, I was looking through the arcs of Krillin and trying to remember exactly what he did. Now, if you look into just original Dragon Ball, you definitely can't say he's weak and relying on others. He is a main character. He is, uh, at least for the beginning few arcs, he is on level with Goku um, until Goku starts to surpass him and Krillin kind of accepts that Goku is stronger than him. But he still puts up his own fights throughout all of the tournament arcs in the series and everything else that happens. There is no point where Krillin is even considered weak. He is literally considered as the second strongest good guy behind uh, Goku. Or maybe even Roshi as well. But apart from that, he's there and he's always there to help. Definitely not weak, definitely not relying on others. And he's great. During the Saiyan Saga, he's there, he helps out. Uh, he, he's the one who, at the end of Goku and Vegeta fighting, he's the one left standing who is literally about to kill Vegeta with a sword, and Goku tells him to stop. So <laughs> um, yeah, he's one of the last people standing at that point, and he almost finishes the job. Now that would have changed <laughs> Dragon Ball completely if Krillin just decides, <laughs> bang, okay, Vegeta's dead now. Um, but yeah, even through the Namek saga, yes, he does die and everything, um, but he's also a huge help throughout the entire saga. 
Um, him, Vegeta, and Gohan especially have a lot of interactions. They team up a lot of times to help out. Um, during the Cell Saga, this is where he starts to fade off a bit, I think. Uh, yes, we, we already mentioned it, but he, he doesn't kill Android 18 when he has a chance with the remote. And he kind of turns into a background character against Cell. And this is where I think he starts to rely on others. Um, because he is not in the foreground. And he doesn't hold his own. And he's kind of just there. And then in the Boo Saga, when I'm thinking about it, I can't remember him doing anything really about the Boo Saga. I don't know if you can or not. But nothing is coming to mind for me for anything helpful he does at all. No, he mostly hangs out on Kami's uh, lookout. <clears throat> yeah. For the most part. Exactly. I think he literally just hangs out on Kami's lookout with yeah. um, with everybody because he's with Yamcha and everybody mm -hmm. like that. Basically, they, they stay out the way. Exactly. Um, and then I've in just Super... found, yeah, Sorry, yeah. I mean, in Super, I've just found out what he did in the tournament power here. Right. Um, he did actually help out quite a lot. Um, he he uses a structural disc to injure um, Dion's wing, which allowed Master Roshi mm -hmm. to blast somebody out the ring. Yeah. He saved 18 mm -hmm. um, from getting blasted out. And yeah. 18 did loads. So if 18 hadn't, like, if 18 had been eliminated, then because 18 is a lot stronger than Krillin. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, it is an acknowledgement. I know it's not a great thing, but still. Mm -hmm. um, Andy, Andy, Andy um, eliminated Majora. And then after that, that is when he got eliminated by Frost. Yeah. So he got an elimination, he, he got an assist, and he saved 18. Mm -hmm. So he's one and a half and a, and a big save yeah right. like krillin it's definitely a support type character he's not an attacker he's not a defender he's he's support he's a support main and yeah. uh yeah i think this is why he relies on others i think i understand the point of this poster whoever it was saying that he relies on others but i don't agree fully he is a support and he knows this he's already acknowledged and admitted that other people are stronger than him but he doesn't let that become a hindrance, I guess. He always, when he needs to fight, he does. And he's always there to support others. And he always helps out as much as he can. He just knows he's not as strong. And I think that's it. It's not even really a weakness. Because we all know as, as fans of the show that the Saiyans are the strongest people and always will be. The Android's probably second and then Piccolo third. But they're all not humans. Krillin is just a human, and he is a top-level human. There isn't really anyone stronger than Krillin as a human, apart from maybe Master Roshi and maybe TM. But that's it, you know? So he is always there, and that is his limit. He has done as much as he can possibly do. Yeah, I mean, because if you look at the even the, the Golden Freezer saga, it's like, I mean, he's again, he knows his limits. He's been a police officer. He's like he's always still doing the right thing mm. throughout his life. He knows his limitations, but he's still always trying to do the right thing. Yeah. When he's needed, he he answers the call. When all the freezer soldiers came, he came and he answered the call. And he was fighting. He did a lot. He mm. was fighting the freezer soldiers. He took out plenty of them. He never wants to, but he still recognizes his limitations. But mm. when the call comes, he does his bit, he and he took out a lot of the soldiers. Yeah. But he knows he's not going to beat freezer. But he'll do his bit, yeah. And I think that's there's nothing really wrong with that. That not everybody can be the guy who beats the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. Like, like the the poster and a few comments were all kind of agreeing that he's weak. But how many strong characters do you really need in the show? Like, not yeah. everyone can be on the same level. And Krillin is like the perfect example of being at his limit, being strong, but nowhere near as strong as the main characters, and also still being useful. And I don't think that's a bad thing. It's fine that he's weaker. Like, mm -hmm. that's more than fine, in my eyes, at least, anyway. Yeah. I mean, he's he's still, like, he was still willing to attack Boo. He's, he attacked Boo on the lockout. He attacked Perfect Cell. He's, he attacked Normal Cell. Like, he's, he's attacking... He's still... Taking swings of people he knows are well beyond him. Yeah. And he attacked Raccoon on uh, Namek. Mm -hmm. These people he knows fine well are totally beyond him, and he's still willing to take a crack at him. Mm. So 
I think it's very unfair to say that he's just hiding behind other people. Yeah. Like he was terrified of Freezer because he's Freezer. Yeah. Like <laughs> And Freezer was the ultimate evil at that point in the show. Yeah. That makes sense. Um I mean, literally Freezer blew him up from the inside out. Mm. I mean, I remember we I think we reacted to it and I'd forgotten the scene and when I when I saw it because it had been I think fifteen years plus since mm. I'd seen it. <laughs> I'd literally forgotten what the scene looked like. And when I saw it, it genuinely surprised me because he did blow up from the inside out. It was very sh- surprising. I did not remember it was quite so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so it's understandable that like that sort of thing would scare someone like Krillin, but he's just a human. Hmm. Um but he's still after that. He's still willing to attack people like Cell, and he can sense key. He knows how powerful Cell is. He knows how powerful Boo is. Still takes a swing at them. Yeah, that's not hiding behind people. Like that's still doing something. And I think so. What if he's weak? If he's still willing to do that, like more power to him. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not a sin. But not everyone is. If everybody was a Saiyan, if everyone was Super Saiyan Blue, then you'd be born. Yeah, because then, like, imagine fighting Zamazu with, like, every single Z Warrior being Super Saiyan Blue. Like, he'd be immortal, but they'd just be constantly, like, just absolutely rolling him into the ground because he wouldn't be able to stand up because they'd just be absolutely just pounding him into the ground. Yeah, they'd be like, let's and go like, on shifts. Let's save our energy. Yeah. Okay, who's <laughs> up first? Krillin? Yeah, you want to go first? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> like, it would, just be, it would just be pointless. Like, there has to be a cast of characters who are different. Yeah. There has to be supporting characters. Mm-hmm. And he is and, the element support, like I said. Yeah. Um, he's, a, he's a Z warrior. There are Z warriors, and these are the supporting characters who mm-hmm. who aren't as powerful. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, and I think it's silly these people in the comments who are saying, "Yes, he's weak." Yeah, Yamcha's weak. He's like so is Tien. What are they expecting? They're going to expect Chaozu to go kick some ass next. Like how? Are? Like, <laughs> yeah, like you don't need to have everyone strong, and you don't need you don't even necessarily need to like everyone, but you can't say that he's useless and you can't say that he's just like just there i guess he is always around he's the ultimate support character he is there when he's needed he does his part and he does it well and we need someone like him in the show he's he's the perfect person to do that like imagine if they had vegeta be like krillin but he's also strong it, it wouldn't work you need someone to be there to take the hits to show that the strong people are actually strong because yeah you need a punching bag and sometimes krillin is the perfect person for that he showed how much of a threat frieza was because he blew him up and it's like oh my god krillin's dead yeah frieza's strong he's able to do this you need yeah. someone like that you need someone to literally just flex on and that's yeah. basically what frieza did he literally just, like this person is nothing to me yeah and because they couldn't exactly do that to Gohan. Like, you can't just blow up the main character's son. Like, I, it's, it's not Game of Thrones, however. <laughs> Even for Dragon Ball, I think you don't want a kid like that would have been. Tra- it's Dragon Ball Z, it's not Game of Thrones, however. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, no, I, I disagree with the take. I think it's, I think people are being. I feel, like, I feel like this is a Reddit take. Like, it's a bit too. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bit too cruel. Mm. Um, no, I, I disagree with it. Um, I think I think you need characters like this in any story. Yeah. That there's always going there's always going to have your stronger characters such as Goku, such as Vegeta and everyone like that. They are the heroes. Mm-hmm. And then you have your sporting characters, and that is exactly what he is. Yeah. Um and he has his moments and he always has his, his hero moments, like when he attacked Cell and everything like that. And yes, he didn't do anything, but you give it the college try yeah. and <laughs> he's a necessity and yeah i agree with you i think he's needed not everyone needs to be strong you don't need to have people going all out full power because then it just gets boring so having someone like krillin is fine and necessary he's a he's a valiant little krillin 
I like him that way, and I don't want him to change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too.
And now it is time for the Hall of Fame.